What's up, my immune friends? Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and welcome back to Mist Survival. So, I went ahead and finished up these lockers. This is going to be my drop chest locker. Nothing in there because everything's organized. This right here is going to be armor. This is going to be clothes. This is going to be rags. This is going to be a mixture of sewing kits, filters, and gloves. If I end up getting too many sewing kits, I'll get rid of some of these gloves. But I like to save them to maybe try and sell them, right? Uh, this is just tools tools and more tools stuff like that why is this still going i think this is broken i'm pretty sure it's been a day so not really sure uh maybe that'll be good when i wake up in the morning uh this is my second chest for stuff that goes in the moonshine still and i've organized some of that stuff as well and i did put another food chest so there's my food there's my drinks there is miscellaneous stuff and um this is mostly salt fuel and matches stuff to start fuel and salt stuff like that so that's all looking pretty good uh today we are going to go out and we are going to make the seekers our biatch okay there's um there's one set of seekers i have not killed yet it is an old old west town so we're going to go kill the seekers and see what they're guarding hopefully it's something dope um i have also gone out of my way to make really make the lights as good as possible i think i have the lights just Oh, what the hell that's doing there. Um, I think I have the lights just about where I want them to be. Let's go take a look, all right? We're going to run around. You guys let me know how dark this is, you know, while watching. So there's the lights for the farm. I think the farm's looking pretty good. And then I've got some lights that will kind of take me to the blacksmith area. All right, I think I could use a couple more in here, but it's not that bad. And obviously this is lit up really well. Um, the goal is to be able to record at night and not have to worry about making dark videos. I hate making dark videos. I've, for those who don't watch every video, um, I've watched people's like YouTube videos on, um, on my phone and nothing drives me cr more crazy than someone whose video is so dark. I can't see it. It drives me up a wall, uh, because usually I want to watch the video cause it's really good video and I can't because it's also pitch dark. I'm um, just, you know, YouTube makes videos very dark and YouTube makes videos even more dark when you're watching on, um, you know things like your phone but yeah i think this all looks pretty good i think the next thing to do is turn off the generator and go to sleep i will see you in the morning well i slept as much as i could but um i'm not gonna sleep just for the sake of passing time my fatigue's not not low anymore so i'm gonna come over here and i think what we're gonna do i meant to do this uh the video i did the fishing uh we're gonna do it now we're gonna go ahead and make ourselves a fishing pond Okay. Now, the reason you make a fishing pond is it gives you a place to put your fish uh, where they won't spoil. Okay. You put fish in there. As far as I know, they can live indefinitely uh, until you need them. Right. So, oh, speaking of fish, I also have some fish on the drying rack. I'm going to take this off. E. Okay. So I can eat that straight up. I'm thinking that's a full, that's going to just fill me up like crazy. Um, do, do the canned food have that kilogram thing? Yeah. So this is 0.35 kilograms. This is 9.34. Now, is the kilograms what says how much I get filled? I know it doesn't because this is 0.35 as well. And food gives you, this stuff gives you a lot more than this. This is 0.25 and it barely gives you anything. So the 9.34 really doesn't matter as far as how much food it's going to give me, I guess. We'll just, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. We'll definitely eat it today and we'll see what's what. All right. So I'm going to need six of these. Split half, split one. And two of these. And then we're going to go ahead and make that fish pond. Yeah, I meant to do it the other day. I just, you know, just forgot. Actually, I didn't, for, I didn't, well, I kind of forgot, but I forgot because I was doing so much looting after the fact. Um, so much bandit killing and, you know, it was just, uh, it was a crazy video. Crazy video. There we go. And I guess you got to put water in there as well. Maybe I should have, maybe I should have put it by my, uh, yeah, I should have put it over there. The reason I put it where I put it is because if you put it on the ground, I think the grass will clip through it. But you know what? I'm not really... Oh, I can't move it now. Oh, no. That kind of sucks. Oh, I'm really surprised I can't move it. Okay, well, fair enough. Then I'll just leave it there for now. Maybe I'll rebuild it at some point. But for now, I, I don't even know how much water it takes, right? So we're going to grab a quick bucket. Um, and the reason I wanted to build this over here was because if I build it next to my water tower, I could use the water to fill it up. So that is great. I don't see any ears of corn on this yet. Wait, there's one. Is this, is this supposed to be picked now? I don't know. I'm going to have to look into that. Someone said there's a very specific time you need to harvest those crops. And I'm just going to wait until that time. Um, I'm in no hurry, to be honest. All right. So let's go ahead and take some water from this. 
And let's see how much water we are allowed to put in that pond. Or how much we have to put in it, I guess. Probably shouldn't be a lot, right? I don't know how much 10 liters is, because I don't go by liters in my country. So, uh, did I see a little thing there? I thought I saw something pop up. So what am I supposed to just dump it in? Yes, okay. Well, that's definitely going to take a few bucketfuls, that's for sure. So, that does suck. I should have made it over there. Um, the th again, the reason I didn't want to make it over here is because uh, I don't want the grass clipping through it. I figured making it on wood would be the best place to put it, because I don't want glass cl glass grass clipping through it but maybe if i put it right here that might be okay um i'm gonna gather up some more resources to make another one but i'll do that off camera because we've already made it all right does that does that bring us up to speed yeah i think that brings us right up to the point where it's just time to pass the night and uh, then we're gonna go out and kill some seekers so on the way to the seekers i decided i wanted to get the electronic parts the problem is i did not bring my sniper rifle and i really don't want to use anything else on these guys so let's just see how this goes if i see him in there i might i might not do it We'll see. I'm only looking for the electronic parts. That's it. I know exactly where they are. I'm not seeing anybody, so let's just go on in. I feel like I would have seen them by now. So I lucked out. Um, okay, I thought I knew exactly where they are. Here they are. Beautiful. Okay. Just one, but I'll take it. So the Seekers are aliens. And there's other aliens in the game that the game suggests that I use fire on. So... I am going to use my Molotovs on the Seekers. I don't I don't really think Molotovs would be too good against Bandits. I don't think I can throw them far enough. Like, I don't think I can get that close to the Bandits, you know? Like, if I can get close enough to throw a Molotov, the Bandits probably already shot me and killed me. So, there, I don't see any real point in saving the Molotovs. So, I am going to use them on the Seekers and see how well they work. Who knows? Maybe they'll work really well against them. These Seekers are pretty tough, you know? Um, so, we'll just see. have to see how we do against them. And just in case it doesn't work, go my way. Save. Alrighty. So let's come on up here. I don't. I know they're on the left. I don't know how far into this town they are though. Uh, farther than that. Yeah, they're down there. Okay. Yeah, they're right down there. All right, this should be a pretty good spot. Let's turn that off. Alright, so, Molotovs. Um, actually, I'm going to use a grenade first. See how that goes. Uh, now, do I want to take any of my other guns with me? Nah, I think that's pretty good. I think I got everything on me I want. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Man, if I ever get that good shotgun, it's like game over. Alright, so I'm assuming I have to right-click to pull the pin. So let's see how this goes. Alright, where are they? This is definitely the, like, back road they were down. But I'm not seeing them. It's kind of weird. I know they're down here. Could they be in the buildings? I don't, I don't know. Oh, this is, this is disturbing. Oh, there they are. Damn it, he saw me too. So now I gotta try and shoot him. Let's try and shoot him with this thing. Oh, boy. Oh, didn't I, like, decide I could use, like, arrows against them or something? Because I could just run away. I don't remember if that was arrows I was using. But. Ow. You dick. Actually, it might have been this gun I was using, to be, f to be fair. Damn, this takes a long time to reload. All right, I'm going to try and use a grenade against them. All right, here we go. Come on with the lag. Dude, seriously, with the lag. Do you not pull the pin? Oh, there we go. No, he ran right by it. Uh. Alright, this is not ideal. The lag is not helping me, obviously. <laughs> but, that can definitely use this gun. Alright. Oh my god, seriously. He's having some awful ass lag, guys. <laughs> Alright, come on. Six and turn around. <laughs> I 
I can never tell if he's dead or not. I think he's dead. Yep, there's his stupid limbs. Alright, well, the grenade uh, missed, so let's try the Molotov next. Oh my god. Maybe I gotta loot this town. There's probably too much shit on the ground. Right, light it up. Oh, you can throw it pretty far. Ah. Boom! Oh, he didn't care. <laughs> he didn't give a fuck, man. He's like, whatever, bro. Fire? Are you kidding me? Oh, God, he's pissed. Oh, he's really pissed. That guy was not a happy camper. Alright. Well, Molotovs don't seem to do shit either, so that kind of sucks. I mean, I guess it might have hurt him, but it didn't really seem like it hurt him much. So is there only two around here? I've only ever seen two together. I gotta loot this place, man. I'm assuming this lag is because all the shit on the ground. So let's get to, let's get to loot. Now this is probably because of loot's refresh. I might actually make a uh, a a garbage can out here. Um, yeah, I should be able to. All right, let's put this away. Put that away too, please. Thank you. Can't get in there. Why not? Why not? Sanctuary. Yeah, there's no back door or nothing. Oh, but there's this that I can't loot for some reason. Looks like it should be lootable, but... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Actually, I don't think loot refresh is the problem here because there's only one of each item. Loot refresh is usually a problem when you go to pick something up. There's like two or three of them. But these are all one items, which I don't... I guess loot refresh hasn't been affecting this place. Oh, there was two. Okay. Alright, there's two. Alright, so it was. Just not everything, I guess. So as we loot stuff, it should get less and less laggy. Dude, can I go in any of these buildings? Nope. Fair enough. Probably try that again at some point. Go. Take out the shotgun just in case a wolf rolls up on me. Alright, nothing up there. Take this. Yay, I can go inside here. Oh, okay, so people wanted me to take this with me. Because you can put uh, bottles in it. So, hopefully I'll remember to take that. Guess we gotta take the paper and destroy it just because it's causing lag. Paper. I'm not gonna take two of those. Uh, paper. Take the paper. Take the paper. Sure, it might not be lagging because of the loot refresh. It might just be, you know, just a laggy area. Doesn't feel like it's getting any better, to be honest. Matches. Paper. Can I take that? No, I guess not. Take that. Hmm, empty room, huh? Interesting. Oh, and upstairs. Look at this fancy ass place. What the fudge is this? Oh, um, I don't have the passcode. Where do I get the passcode? Did not expect to see something like that here. I'm not really sure why, I just didn't. Mm, take, uh, I'll take these two. We don't need to take... See, this won't cause lag, so I can actually put stuff in here I don't care about. 
Um, bottles aren't really that big of a deal to me. I've got so many of them right now. So we'll just put some stuff in there to, so we don't have to carry it around or have it cause lag. That. Yep, those are all good items. <gasps> Fishing line! Somebody write that down, please. Really? So, I like a special room that I had to try and get into, and there's nothing in there. Alright, that's kind of... That's kind of sad. Not gonna lie. Uh, you know what? I don't need the tire either. Or the paper. Alright. Not really sure where to get the code for that room, though. Well, we got a couple other rooms here. Alright, nothing there. Uh, Yeah, I'll take that. And then what we'll do is we'll harvest this. It's only a couple of pieces, but whatever. It's better than having the gun. I don't really have any need for an extra gun like that. Take that, just to get it off the ground. Nothing in there. Put the paper in there. More paper. More bottles. More paper. Look at paper all over the place. I mean, it makes sense. It probably would be the most, you know, common thing in the apocalypse. Paper. Alright, take that. Take the AK. Couple of AKs. I already have an AK at home, so I don't need it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna harvest these, and then I'm gonna drop stuff off in that little um, the little like I'm assuming if you put stuff in a, in an inventory space, like let's say hypothetically speaking, I put a bunch of paper in a you know, in a um a suitcase that doesn't cause lag, right? I would assume that doesn't cause lag, but I guess I don't know for sure. Well, assuming that's the case, that's what I'm gonna continue doing. Um, oh. Oh, interesting. Okay, what's over here? Now, this is definitely made to let you get up here. Oh, more fishing thingies. Cool. Should I drop in there? Let's save the game. That that looks ominous to say the least. Alright, well at least there's no enemies in here. A lot of ammo though. Uh, remember, I gotta take everything just to clear it out. Ooh, a grenade or two. Can I take that? No. Those are probably spent casings. And that and that. We are really getting full here. Now, remember, I could put stuff in here that I don't care about. So let's just look around a little bit more. There's nothing in there, like. I, I don't know if I'm going to, like, use an inventory spot for one gunpowder. It didn't really seem worth it. Okay, nothing there. Got that. Can't do nothing with that. Nothing with that. Take a couple pistols. I will harvest them off camera. Got to grab the batteries. I'll grab those off camera. Ho! Oh, a lot of stuff in here. A lot of inventory management. That's okay. I'll take care of it. Can I get out of here? Yeah. So what was so special about dropping in there? I have no idea. Maybe you can only open this from the inside? Alright, cleared up my inventory. And this place is called Ammunition. <laughs> or Ammunition. Uh, it should be Ammunition. I mean, the place is called Ammunition? That's, a, that's not like a pretty inventive name. I would have called it Ammunition, personally. But I'm just going to pretend it's called Ammunition. Makes me happy. Alright. So, I, I don't know. It's kind of weird that you drop through the ceiling, but you don't need to drop through the ceiling to get in here. It's kind of odd. But like I said, maybe that door wasn't open. Like, maybe you can't open that door from the other side, and I just don't remember or didn't know or whatever. Who knows? Who knows? This, 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 and this. And we will harvest this. We're not really finding, like, anything, like, crazy here, but we are getting interesting things. Like, things we need. You know? Um, oh, boy. It's all looking good. Did I loot everything over here? I feel like I didn't, but I think I did. Okay. Hope I didn't miss anything. Anytime I come through an area, 
Oh, yeah. I knew I, I knew I was forgetting something. Every time I come to an area, like, if I don't, like, you know, loot everything, but, like, stuff drops on the ground, I'm like, oh, I'll loot that later. Like, nine times out of ten, I don't loot it later. But. <laughs> All right. Looking good. Oh. Um. That would look pretty good on my wall. I'm not going to lie. Come on. See if we can get this outside. Um, can we turn it? Yep, there we go. Okay. Hopefully I remember that. We'll see. Alright, so there's a room back here that I didn't go into yet. Uh, and it's nothing. Okay, fair enough. Anything else on the wall? Any other goodies? I want that, I want that um, guitar. Give me the guitar. What was that? Oh, it's stupid wheel. Okay, I don't care about that. All right, I think we're done in here. So I am hungry and thirsty, but I wanted to eat this fish with you guys. I'm curious on how much hunger this is going to give me. It's going to give me like a full thing of hunger? Probably, I mean... What? What? Okay, fishing sucks. <laughs> the, the amount of like work you have to go through to put the fishing reels together, or to put the fishing pole together, combined with the fact that a fish only gives you half of your hunger? I don't know, man. That seems pretty shit to me. That's incredibly... Oh, I didn't eat the whole thing. But there's only a little bit left. Why wouldn't I have eaten the whole thing? Okay, well, early access, guys. He's got some work to do. Okay, so really it was only half. So one fish caught is a half of my hunger bar. Wow, so it, you're much better off to fillet it. Because I got quite a few pieces filleting it. Yeah, trying it is not the way to go. I kind of... Yeah, I kind of feel like fishing's shit. <laughs> That's a shame. That's a shame. It's pretty close to being good, you know? Oh, all right. So we got one of these right here. So I don't, uh, I don't have to go out to get the other one. I can just put that right there. The other one's like way over. Well, not way over there, but oh, cool. <laughs> when I pressed the button and I couldn't get th and it, it didn't open, I was like, oh man, I can't get in here. And I was like, well, let's just walk into it. That's pretty cool. I like that. Nice little, um, nice little thing there. Nice little game mechanic. Uh, don't need a machete. I will take salt though. Um, take the boards. Uh, so I could just sit down. I can't take any of that. All right. Can I open this? Nope. Can I get in there? Nope. Maybe from the back or something. Don't really need all these bottles. I'm just picking them up. I, you know what? While well, I got the bottles, oh god, while well, I got the bottles, um, put them in here. Oh yeah, that's that's awesome. I like that. Oh, a freaking pig. All right. Fair enough. Um, all right. Well, let's look over here first. Oh, that's cool. Take that. Take that. A lot of the stuff I don't need, I'm just taking it to get rid of it so I can hopefully um, deal with the lag. Oh, I like that. Look at that. Open up the... That's neat. A lot of nice little touches here. They just got to deal with the lag. Uh, although, to be fair, I have used loot refresh. But the thing is, is I'm looting. The lag doesn't seem to be going getting less. Just depends on what part of the map, like the area I'm in. Alright. So what are the Molotovs good for at this point? If they're not, they're not good for these things. Maybe next time I fight a Seeker, I'll just throw multiple Molotovs at it and... Just see. Didn't really seem to be that good. It, it would be a lot easier to throw them if the lag wasn't here, too. It's just like... The lag just kills it. Alright, so let's come over here. Take a look in the outhouse. Can't open it. Can't open it. Anything on top of it? Mm, does not look like it. Okay, fair enough. Oh boy. I know I'm not checking every single spot. It's just because there's too much to loot. And I, you know, there's too much to loot. <laughs> uh, Alright, what do we got over here? Nothing there. Nothing there. Alright, so I started at that church. And I went that way. So I think if I do 
Did I do that red building? Uh, I'm pretty sure I did. So I think if I do this building right here, that means I've done everything. Probably. Probably not, but almost everything. I'm going to check out the... Can I climb that ladder? I cannot. Alright, I'm going to check out that red building just to make sure I've done it. Pretty sure I have. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Well, I didn't pick everything up though. Why didn't I pick everything up? Did this stuff respawn again? Eh, maybe I did. Maybe I left it there. Oh god. All right. So, um, the next thing we have to do is this side, but I am not going to do that today. Uh, we don't have to go on this side again, which is pretty cool because honestly, I don't really like fighting the seekers much. Um, but you know, if I if I have to, I will. But now we should be able to do this side. Now I've done a lot of this side. But I don't know if I've done it all. And I'd be cool to do it again in a future video. But right now, I would like to take this. Where did that go? Wait, can you not... Did that fall straight through? You can't put those in your truck? Hold on. Oh, it just fell off. Okay, I'll work on getting that on my truck off camera. Because who the hell needs to see that, right? Alright, well, you know, one other thing I want to do before we call it. Let's um, take a look at the... Is it the police police place? <laughs> um, okay, because I know there was some dope stuff in here. Oh, wait, did I have a crowbar last time? Why wouldn't I have broken into that? That seems odd. All right, let me go drop stuff off. We're gonna break into that. I couldn't for the life of me get that fish to stay on the truck. Every time I put it on top, it just fell off, bounced off. So, kind of sucks, but what are you going to do? I have to get one of those bottle crates up there. I'm going to try and get a couple more up there before I leave. We'll see. We shall see. I'm also done picking up crap. Because I picked up most of the crap right here. It doesn't seem to have helped that much. Oh, that's not bad. Not bad at all. And we've got some ammo here. And some ammo here. Ugh, 9 mil. Something it would have been good ammo. Alright, that's garbage. One of those. Alright. Um, I think I can get in the desk, right? Can I? I think I can get in the desk. Because wasn't there, like, I think I found my first mod in the desk. Oh, look at that. Underneath the desk. I don't need that, though. But, oh, wait. Wait, is that lootable? I thought that was lootable. But now I don't think so. I think it was just the chair. Like, I think I moused over the chair and then it said, you know, I thought it was lootable. Yeah, I think here's where I found the mods, but stuff in here doesn't respond to the best of my knowledge. So, not that great in here anymore. Now I can always take that that um, locker, but uh, I don't really care. It's fine. It's fine. I'm going to spend some time here. Oh, come on, one more thing. Did you do anything in the cop car? Pretty sure I would have looted the cop car. But, yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, might as well look around the back. Alright. So I'm going to spend some time here trying to get some more of those uh, bottle containers on top of my little setup here. And then I'm going to go home. Alright guys, so thank you very much for... Uh, that's not how the outro goes. I gotta beg for some likes and some subscriptions. If you end up in like... If you end up like in the video, please remember to uh, uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos as I butcher my outro. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy. This lag is abhorrent.